Dear students, we are going to read an interesting story in this episode. Two Deer, written by Leo Tolstoy. This is the second le lesson for you in your textbook. I would like to draw your attention to the questions we have before we read the story. Two Deer is an interesting story. It is very humorous, at the same time, critical of administrative process. May it be in a kingdom, in a kingdom or in a democratical society. I would, I would like you to have a textbook with you so that you can follow the text, follow the lines better. Though I have it on screen here, it looks small or smaller on your mobile screens. It would be better to have a textbook with you so that you can follow it better. Let us go to the questions we have or a question we have here. What do you think would happen if due to procedural lapses or delay, the court were to convert the verdict of death sentence into a life imprisonment? Because of procedural lapses, if the death sentence is converted into life imprisonment, what would happen? What do you think would happen? A person who is convicted and given a death sentence Suppose this is changed into a life imprisonment, he would rather feel happy. He would rather feel he is escaped. He would rather feel relieved. Or he would think he would be gone at one time, but he had to live the life in a prison. Most difficult life but that would allow him to repent. That would allow him to do something better, correct himself. But what would really happen? What would really happen to the victims? What would happen, what would happen to the innocent people in the society when they really see this type of a thing to happen in the society Criminals were so easily given concessions. What would happen? If a death sentence is converted into life imprisonment, not on the merit of the case or not on the merit of the crime, but because of a procedural lapses, because of a procedural delay, procedural, procedural delay in the sense, a set of things which an administration have to do some, something. A method which a government or an administration has to execute or punish or give appropriate punishment to people or criminals, not people. What happens if this has to be changed? Dear students, it is said, justice denied is justice delayed. Sorry, justice delayed is justice denied. I just changed it by mistake. Justice delayed is justice denied. If the justice is not given at the time, at, at the appropriate time, you are going to miss it. You are likely to miss it. You are likely to be unfortunate of getting the justice. What would happen if this happens due to procedural lapse? Dear students, I would like to bring your attention to Nirbhaya's case. What happened in Nirbhaya's case? Six people were involved in a gang rape. They were 
they were convicted FIR, FIR, FIR was registered then the very next day it happened in December 2012 in 2013 police charged or filed a charge sheet in January itself it happened in 2013 the fast track trial court decided in 2014 Delhi High Court given the verdict that they should be sentenced they should be executed again once again in in 2017 Supreme Court given the verdict that they should be executed to death but what happened these criminals were executed in 2020 what happened why did it take such a long time to execute the criminals to death or hanging them you all might know there was a procedure lapse here the criminal act had to be amended in 2013 the criminal act had to be amended because it did not have severe punishments like execution or sentencing a criminal to death in case of harassments of this severity nirbhaya's parents had to wait for seven years for justice the students it happened it took such a long time to execute the criminals because we did not have a procedure or we did not have a legal system which would include that sentence Suppose there was no amendment of that kind, the death sentence of death sentence or the verdict of a death sentence or verdict of executing the criminal to un, until death would have to be converted into life imprisonment. Fortunately, that did not happen in, in India. So this is the thing you must remember what happens what do you think would really happen if due to procedural lapses the court were to convert the verdict of a death sentence into life imprisonment dear students how this question is relevant to the story here something like that happens here as well Monaco was a kingdom, very small, tiny kingdom, which had only about 7,000 people in, a, in, a, in, a, in this kingdom. But there was a king here. You will know later whether a good, a good king or a hopeless one. But there was a king here. King had all the facilities, all the requirements, all the luxuries a king should have. But population was very less. The geographical area was very less. So it was called a tiny kingdom. Everything was fine in this tiny kingdom until a murder took place. The murderer was found and he was sentenced to death. The king ordered to cut the head off the criminal. But there was a hitch, there was a problem here. There was a hitch in the system. They could not execute the criminal to death 
because they did not have a guillotine, a cutting machine to do that. That's the reason why they requested the French government to provide them the execution, execution, executing machine and also an executioner. And they wrote a letter and asked how much that would cost them. But it turned out to be too dear for them, too expensive for them. The French government, the French government said that it would cost them 16,000 francs. That was too much. So they wrote a letter to the Italian government. There was a monarch actually. And that would cost them 12,000 francs. That too was very difficult for the king to accept. He did not like the idea. He thought the criminal is not worthy of spending so much money. He requested the ministers to think over it and find alternatives. The ministers requested the soldiers to execute him, but the soldiers denied it. They said they were not made or trained to execute people like that. They could only fight in wars. The council was called. There was a meeting, a deep discussion, and there was a deliberations. Deliberation, and after that, ministers decided to convert the death sentence into life imprisonment. King was happy because his ministers were so in so intelligent people. They found alternative. But there was another problem. They did not have a proper prison to keep the criminal for such a long time. That was arranged. There was another problem. Who will take care of this criminal? Who will guard him? Who will keep an eye on him? How to provide him food? So the guard was appointed, food was brought from the king's palace or kitchen every day to the criminal. He was happy. He was happily living in the prison. How would he really have this, this all or these all facilities otherwise? He would be dead and gone if he were, he were executed. But now he is living his life in the prison, but he is alive, more importantly for him. So what happened at the end of the year? The king was going through the expenditures, annual ex expenditures. He came across a new expenditure in that, new item. That there were 600 francs were spent on taking care of this uh, criminal, including the salary of the guard. King thought that is too much to spend on that criminal. That is too much to spend on the rascal, he says. Then what is to be done? Ministers were called, deliberations took place. They discussed, they decided to let the criminal go. For that, they dismissed the guard who was keeping an eye on the criminal. Then what happened? They expected the criminal or the murderer to run away after he was, uh, how he was made free by removing the guard. But it did not really happen like that. The criminal <laughs> The criminal did not go, did not go out of the prison. He was in the prison. He went at the time of a dinner 
breakfast he went to the palace kitchen and has his had, had his, his food and respectfully he came back to the prison it happened a day or two the criminal did not run away but the ministers were worried the ministers were worried that the criminal did not run away they decided to speak to him straight out tell him that he has to run away and king would not mind him going away from the jail interestingly the criminal speaks to these people for the first time here he tells them he would not run away he told them he would not run away he asked them questions how could he run away he dare not say that prince would not mind but how would he run away what would he do after going away from the jail what could he do he said all these people ministers and the king had ruined his uh, life his character by their sentence and the sentence was changed into life imprisonment then too he did not say anything he says besides that he forgot the way of working what would he do after going out these are the these are the questions asked by the criminal asked by the murderer but he forgot his way of doing things or earning way of working then he would not run away likewise he asked some questions it became another headache for them for the ministers they reported this to the king and the king ordered them to have another solution for this and the council was called the ministers came together once again deliberations discussions thoughtful discussions and they came to the decision that the criminal will be given a pension of about 600 francs per month and he must run away he must go out of the prison this offer was given to the criminal criminal accepted it and told them he said he would not mind that as long as they pay him regularly without fail the ministers agreed the criminal went out of the jail and went to another province or another kingdom just near across the border and started doing market gardening he bought some land there and started doing market gardening and he was living very happily thereafter he felt very fortunate that he did not commit a murder in a country which would which would bear any amount of money to execute but he committed a murder in a in a kingdom which would think too much about the expenditure to execute the criminal he lived very happily thereafter dear students this is the story in a brief i have left out many things here we will take up all those incidents in the story step by step when we read the text thoroughly i would like you to read the text and read the story deeply so that you will be able to extract multiple meanings or or uh, comprehension of this story we'll do redo or reread this lesson or this story in our next episode this is only a brief video on this
on this topic i would like you to really go through the text before we read the story before i discuss this story with you in our next episode i'm going to read this story step by step paragraph after paragraph by paragraph and analyze so that we will not leave out any part of the story after that we are going to discuss question and answers on this i hope you enjoyed the story i hope you will be now forced to read the story immediately thank you we will catch you up again in our next episode bye bye